Alright guys, uh, Fox here with another Brawl Stars tutorial and tips video for you guys. Um, as you can see, we're at quite a bit more trophies than we were in the last video. I've been playing a lot with my buddy Costa and my uh, younger sister Annie. I just got my friend Costa into the game and um, my sister Annie made a mini account as well. Uh, so we do have all of the rare brawlers unlocked. Um, that's the lowest rarity that's not Trophy Road. Trophy Road being the ones you get just by playing the game. Uh, the rares you get out of boxes. So it goes rare, super rare, um, epic, mythic rare, and legendary. Um, so we did go ahead and, and got Jackie as well. We got all the rare brawlers. So we got Primo, um, Barley, Poco, and Rosa. There's four um rare brawlers in the game right now and we did get one of the super rare brawlers jackie which is awesome because i named my mini account after her um so let's go ahead today i want to show you guys um some brawl ball so right now the map is penalty kick um you guys want to make sure you're using either brawl stats or one of the other um videos if you just type in best brawlers for penalty kick that's the name of the map um i'll go ahead and show you how rosa plays in the first game here because she's one of the rare brawlers so you'll definitely have access to her pretty early um, because um, rare brawlers are pretty easy to pull from box. So I can't remember what the ratio is because since I have them all now I can't see it but I'll show you where you can check rarities and how easy it is to pull them as well. Um, on top of that you also get um, brawler offers in the shop where you can buy them for time so keep that in mind. That was a good super right there, Frank there. So in Brawl Bowl, um, there's two goals. Oh god, I got distracted. There's two goals of all, and then obviously your three teammates and three enemies. So the objective is to score two goals before the opposing team, or just to score a goal to win the game. So there's... Oh god. It's basically offense and defense, just like football in real life. So we're gonna go ahead and kill the block here. So when you pick up the ball, you could use your shoot button to aim and shoot the ball. Um, and when you let go of it, it'll pass. That does not stop your healing. That's an important thing to know. So Rosa's superhero allows her to take less damage when she pops it. So we went ahead, uh, went down there. So hopefully we can spawn back before they score here. Because he does have, if you use your super, it does shoot the ball a lot. And you can also auto aim as well. Oh god. That was bad on my part. Oh god. It's after work and I'm pretty tired, so I'm pretty with me on this one, guys. So I'll go ahead, I'll show you guys a different brawl over here, but hopefully we can win. I do like Brawl Ball as a game mode. Um, just because it does involve a lot of teamwork, passing with your teammates, being coordinated. Um, so it's a good thing if you use the search for team function because you definitely want a balanced team and that can help you from you know not getting three of basically you know three tanks, three mids, things like that. And three long range ballers, because you definitely usually want balance and ball ball. So when I took out the Jackie here, Supremo is a tank. Basically what he does is he um, throws a flurry of punches when he's really close up to the opponent. And then his super is uh, like an elbow drop from the sky. Let's see if I can show you his super here. Definitely one of my favorite brawlers. Is pretty cool. So as you can see, we got the ball here. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. You always wanna open up as much area if you have a super that does as possible, just cause it makes it easier for your, you and your teammates to score the ball. As you can see, he kind of jumps in with his super and stuns them, which is nice. You can do some cool tricks with it and roll ball, like throw it ahead, stun them, then grab the ball back from behind you, and then score from there. And as you can see, if you're a tank on this map, you don't want to destroy the walls, um, just because that's your cover and protection from long range bullets like Colt, Colt and this Terra here. Terra is actually a mythic, so... I must be pretty lucky because we're all pretty good trophies and he had 
Oh, that was a bad play by me. Thank goodness my teammate stopped that shot there. You can auto aim his super when he's close up, but if you're farther away, you kind of want to do like that and aim it. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump on the court here. And I did go ahead and take two of them out. So I'm going to stun Jackie. Try to take her out here. I'm going to back up. So I knew she had super and she's another close range baller. She only hits right next to her, basically. She did play from her court there. Use the super and take her out. I'm going to jump on this area here. Her super basically creates a black hole that sucks you in. So Jackie wasted two of her shots, so it's okay to go down her here. I'm gonna go ahead and super on the court. A little bit of lag here. Hopefully our Brock here can sh shoot in. So okay, when overtime's... Oh no, we actually were up a goal. So we did go ahead and take that one. So if you do get into overtime in Brawl Ball, it destroys all the barriers on the map. So keep that in mind. Like if your team is playing a double or triple tank composition, you definitely want to not, you know, take it to overtime. Obviously, you don't plan going to overtime, but you want to play very aggressive if that clock starts to dwindle down. So what I'll do here, I'll just go ahead and show you each of the rare brawlers just so you can go ahead and see them. If you get a gem off in the shop and you want to spend your own money or you want to spend gems you have saved up. There's also an event going on right now. Um, it's pretty cool. So basically every token you get right now, you also get that much gold. So you, it's a really good time to try to rank up your brawlers and level them up. It's a really cool event. They also run token doubler events, which you can pull those from boxes or buy them. But if you have the doubler, it allows you basically to get double the tokens from the game. For, you know, X amount of tokens, X being the token doubler amount. So say, like, I win this game and I get 20 tokens, it would give me 40 then. Because it of the token double. So Poke is very interesting just because he is one of the few like support brawlers I would say. Um, he basically his attack he plays like a musical note on his guitar as I run the full super. Uh, and when that it basically is like a widespread range attack and his super heals all of the opponents in this range. And it has a greater distance on it than his regular attack. So he's definitely a really cool character. Um, you can also after a certain point, after I believe so many trophies, hit play again if you like the teammates you're playing with. You want to play with them for an additional game. So I did already go ahead and show you Barley on an earlier video. He's a rare brawler that you get um, you unlock in the game by just linking in your Supercell account, um, which if you don't know how to do that, you just hit this tab right here and hit Supercell ID, and then it'll prompt you to create it. And once you create it and verify that account, you get the um, Barley in the game and that skin for him. So I'll go ahead and show you guys Jackie here because we're really close to the Mega Boss. Um, so we'll go ahead and open that and see if we pull anything cool from that. And we can kind of show you how Jackie plays here. So Jackie, she is a um, close range baller as well. Definitely the theme of this video today. So her attack range, as you can see here, is pretty short, but it does a good amount of damage, and it's just in this radius that you can see when I do this. Oh god, I'm getting low here. I'm gonna try to back up and heal. And then her super pulls everyone in, and she takes less damage while she's doing her super. So I'm going to push up here. Oh, nice. Caught the Sandy by surprise. She didn't think we were going to come out and play that aggressively. I'm going to go ahead and take that out to my team. Oh. Got to be careful. You don't want the bounce shots from Jesse's attack hitting you. So like I said earlier in the video, you want to use these barrels to your advantage. That was a misplay on my part, I should have just taken the ball there. So I'm going to use my 
ability there, so I take less damage from the turret. But I'm just gonna back up and heal up. I might have been able to score there, but I didn't want to get taken out by the turret. So I didn't really want to risk it. I'll just decide to play it smarter. Ooh. Farley's definitely pretty good. You can tell he's not auto aiming his shots, he's actually aiming them. Right. What's cool, Jack, you can kind of push them away from the walls if they're camping this wall here. You can just kind of go up and shoot your shot off and just kind of intimidate them back. Alright, we're in a tough spot here because the Jesse has her turrets set up. Ooh, no. Oh, God. Barley had another super already. So I'm going to push up here. Jack, you went a little bit AFK there. We're going to push up on the Barley, see if we can get him. Gonna destroy the turret and try to score this goal here. Oh my gosh. Let's see if our bull can score here now. And I will get to see show you guys what overtime looks like here. Maybe? Unless our bull scores this. Nope, nope. See, all of the walls are destroyed, so you have to be very cautious in overtime, especially if you're defending, because one super shot could just take you out of the game here. So I'm going to keep passing it up here, because I don't want them to have the ball. Oh, God. Come on, bull, bull, bull. Come back. Oh, dang it. As you can see there, it's definitely difficult to defend once overtime hits. Dang it. We'll go ahead. I know this video is going to be a little bit longer, but we'll play one more game here. Because I'm definitely enjoying the Brawl Ball sets. Um, I'm trying to think who I didn't show you guys last video. We did unlock Jesse from Trophy Road, so I'll show you guys her or Brock. You know what? I'll show you Brock. And if you guys do want to see a certain brawler played in a video that I have, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll go ahead and play that brawler in the next video for you guys. We're getting pretty close to uh, finishing up all the event tutorials. Uh, so then I was thinking after that of doing just brawler specific tutorials, like what maps they get on, uh, like, you know, what brawlers they get against, what brawlers they get against, that sort of thing. So that'd be pretty cool. So we want to stay like slightly out of range of the way over here because we have a range advantage on them so we can hit her from afar. A good thing about Brock on Bravo is he can destroy the barriers. So as you can see right here, I'm just going to go ahead and destroy their wall. So now we have an easier way of shooting them on the I'm going to try to keep the BB on top of our center there. It's almost a nice play by him. So he uses super like I was trying to show you guys uh, last video to go ahead and jump on the head and stun them and then go ahead and jump on the head and stun them and then go ahead and Let's go pretty much it for Brawl Ball. Um, let me know so far out of Brawl Ball, Showdown, and Gem Grab that I showed you guys, which one you like the best. Um, so let's go ahead. Oh. We're 12 trophies off the big one. So I'll go ahead and open that for you guys next video. Um, anyways, that's it for the Brawl Ball tutorial. If you have any questions, as always, be sure to leave them in the comments. I did go ahead and create a club for you guys. Um, just figured it'd be cool. So if you uh, want to join the club, just hit the club tab, hit search for club, and type in that club tag right there. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.